Praise the Lord for this wonderful day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank the Lord for this opportunity to come to you and thank you and I praise God because of you are watching today. In the book of Luke, I want to talk to you about the story of Zacchaeus. Many of us know the story, he was a short man. But I want to direct your attention right here, right now, to the story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a chief collector. He was in charge, he was a tax collector. He was in charge of collecting all the taxes of Israel. And the story goes that Zacchaeus was a chief collector and a tax collector. This time, that time in Jerusalem, in Israel, there were three centers in Israel for people to go and the government to collect their taxes. And one of the places, one of the centers was Jericho. Jericho was one of the wealthiest places in the country, in this area. And the centers of one of the locations were the Texas, where people go to pay their taxes, was in this place, the center in Jericho. And I want to tell you today that at that time in Israel, the Roman allowed the tax collector to collect extra money for the tax collectors to have after they collected all the people's taxes for the country of Israel. Zacchaeus was a friend, probably a friend of Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. Zacchaeus, with the money and the wealthy, he's just a wealthy man. With all his riches and power, all the money he earned, stealing from people. His position was so high that the Roman gave him the authority Overall, is collecting of the taxes. With all the wealth and money that Zacchaeus had, he was hungry in his heart for something else. He knew money and wealth and power cannot buy him respect peace, and righteousness. In the story goes that Zacchaeus was hungry. Zacchaeus in his heart knew something was missing. What did he do? He wanted to know more about Jesus Christ. He wanted to know more about Jesus Christ. There is no doubt that his friend Matthew, as a tax collector, has told him about the joy of following Jesus Christ. That one day, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was hearing that Jesus was walking by. Zacchaeus was coming with the crowd. But then he questioned himself, how can I go with the crowds that are following Jesus? These are the people that I take money from them. These are the people that I steal from them. They hated me. Why should I go along with them? But in his heart, he wanted to know more Jesus Christ. See how important it is for us to tell someone about Jesus Christ and his loving kindness on the cross. And the story goes on. That Zacchaeus was hungry for something and for change. And Zacchaeus 
move closer to Jesus. Jesus Christ, move a lot closer to Zacchaeus. Hallelujah! Jesus Christ was passing by. Zacchaeus, move a little bit, move closer to Jesus Christ. And, so, and Jesus Christ, move a lot closer to Zacchaeus. Hallelujah! Just like the father of the prodigal son, he ran to meet his son after his son repented. Just like in the story of Zacchaeus, he moved a lot closer, he moved close to Jesus, and Jesus moved a lot closer to him. He used the tree as a ladder to climb up to look for Jesus because he was this little man. He couldn't see Jesus. Or probably he was shy to the people that he stole money from. But I tell you, Jesus stopped and looked at the tree and said, Zacchaeus, come down. I must be at your house today. That is my thing today. Jesus come to Zacchaeus' house today. The secret is, Jesus knows his name. Jesus knows the center. Jesus knows the hunger of his heart for a change. Move closer to Jesus, and Jesus move a lot closer to him. And he knows his name. He called him by his name. Zacchaeus, come down. I'll be at your house today. Immediately they went on to his house, went to his house and they had supper and everything. The secret of the story is, in the presence of Jehovah, in the presence of Jesus Christ, Zacchaeus feel the warmth of the love of the Savior, Jesus Christ. The warmth, in the presence of Jehovah, there's victory. In the presence of Jehovah, there is peace that no one else cannot give us. There is respect, there is righteousness in the peace, in the presence of Jehovah. After the dinner and everything, Zacchaeus wanted to tell the people, wanted to show the people that he's a changed man. He went on, divided his wealth, gave it to the poor, and paid the people that he owned, he stole money from and give it to them. The secret of the message today that Zacchaeus met Jesus Christ. He was a changed man. He was an honest tax collector from then on. I praise the Lord because Zacchaeus was a changed man because he was in the presence of Jehovah. The secret is when you come to Jesus, it only takes a leap of faith to take the faith, that step of faith right now. Come to Jesus. Take that faith right now. As you move closer, the Word of God says, draw right to me and I will draw right to you. The Word of God says, people are searching for peace and for respect, for righteousness. The Word of God says today, only peace, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, can give you. The cross is still crying for you. If you're searching here and there, the Word of God says, that Zacchaeus was a changed man. He showed the people of the... He paid them back what he owed them. And it is the secret today, the message today. Jesus Christ... He loves you. The cross is our hope for salvation. And the message today says, For the Son of Man, He has come to seek and save that which was lost. Even Jericho, even Jericho was fit for a king. But Jesus did not come 
to eat with the king. His desire to eat with the sinners. He is still looking for lost sheep today. He is still looking for people to take that leap of faith to come to the cross and cover. Jesus, as Zacchaeus moved closer to Jesus, Jesus moved a lot closer to Zacchaeus. And he was a changed man. And he was a tax collector, an honest tax collector from then on. That is what the Word of God telling us today how important it is that we influence and tell the people that we have worked with, 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 we work for. Tell them about who Jesus Christ is. It will take one word to spread to another. That's how we will spit the light to the dark world. And I praise God for this wonderful word of God. Zacchaeus was an honest man, tax collector from then on. Jesus is still looking for lost sheep. For the word of God says here, for the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which was lost. Zacchaeus was wealthy. He was lost. But the day he met Jesus Christ, he was a changed man. The Christ of Calvary is still calling for you. If you have not found peace, money cannot buy, find, give you peace. Money cannot buy you respect. Mighty cannot buy you righteous. Jesus says, Come to me, all that you have been laden. I will give you peace and rest for your soul. Bow your heads with me. If you're the one that's not received the rest, the peace of Jesus Christ. Yet the world is fighting for world peace, but they do not know that the peace, the Son of Jesus Christ, is the Prince of Peace. Oh Lord, I thank you for this. Oh Lord, I thank you, Lord. Father God, I hear your word today. Lord, I repent. I ask your precious blood of Jesus. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness, righteousness. Wash me and cleanse me. I surrender my life to you. I give you all the glory and all the honor and praises. Praises, Father God. Saints of God. Jesus is still looking for your sheep. Jesus is still looking. He's still looking. The word of God here says, Come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy to help us in time of need. The cross is still calling. The cross, there's room at the cross. Though millions have come, there's room for one. There's room at the cross. May the message of Zacchaeus touch your heart today. Spread the word of God. That's how we can win the world. Take one word from another to one another. May you have a blessed day with Jesus. And I praise God because as a servant of God still standing here. To tell you that Jesus Christ loves you. To tell you there is hope in the name of Jesus. To tell you that Jesus Christ. It's the only peace. May you have a blessed day in Jesus. And I'll go with you go with Jesus. May you go with Jesus in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day. And I love you with the love of the Lord.